and my godson laying on the ground. My son was a good man. And now to an emotional moment this afternoon from a D.C. mother left heartbroken after her son was shot and killed. 7 News brought you breaking news last night at 11 o'clock of this shooting on 14th Street and Saratoga Avenue in Northeast. Two people were gunned down. Three others were wounded. Our Sam Ford joining us live now from the scene where community members are now holding a safety meeting with police. Sam. Yes, indeed, uh, they are back there. That is a lieutenant for this area who is speaking right now, and a number of people have gathered here, uh, obviously very upset about this situation because, uh, as we understand the details, basically the police were here, and as soon as they left, that's when the shooting started, as if the shooters were waiting for the police to, to, to leave for a moment, and so they're very concerned about situations like that. They ain't bother nobody. <laughs> they ain't bother nobody. A distraught mother comforted by a neighbor, her eldest of three sons, 42-year-old James Cooper, was killed along with a friend, three others wounded, as they stood on the street last night near the mother's home. The son, married with his own family, had just stopped by to see her, she said. Now he come back here to see her out to his mama, he get killed. That ain't right, that ain't right, that ain't right. For Mayor Bowser, another deadly night in the city, whose homicide numbers, over 200 so far this year, are the highest in 25 years. She seemed to be casting blame elsewhere. Unfortunately, we've seen uh, three years of our criminal justice system upended and uh, the system of accountability that we once had and the police resources that we once had were upended and we're reaping the, the effects of that. And so at this meeting, a number of community leaders here, I think there are three ANC commissioners as well as the head of the Tenants Association here, talking with the police and trying to find basically a solution, some way to avoid things like this happening before. The lieutenant said that they were quite pleased that they had not had a shooting here since June. Uh, you know, that may not seem like a lot in some places, but obviously I guess it's uh, quite a big deal here. And we also learned, we've not released the other victim's name yet, but we also learned that this victim was actually in a wheelchair. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, I'm Sam Ford, 7 News. It all is so tragic. Sam, thank you. D.C. police now are shedding new light on their efforts to get illegal guns off the streets. They say just last week officers recovered 54 guns. Now, we recently reported that MPD has a reward program for illegal gun tips. Now through this Sunday, tips that help officers make an arrest could receive up to $2,500. That's increased to $5,000 for ghost guns. And more breaking news that we're following tonight. A jury has just acquitted the